And we're good to go. Hey, everybody, this is James out of Frax, and we are back. Russ is back again, I'm which we are back. always grateful for. And he's wearing the crazy suit. Okay, so I told everyone if you made your 500 that I would put on this exact suit um, and come out here and just congratulate you and, and tell everyone thank you for, for helping you get to that 500 goal milestone that we had. And uh, we do have a bunch of other crazy suits that we're going to start incorporating, but we just wanted to do this one today to tell everyone out there that we definitely appreciate them supporting you. Well, I appreciate you, brother, and you're just as Thanks. much a part of this channel as I am, and I, you really need to realize that. No, this is this is all James. <laughs> I'm just telling you from start to finish, it's James. He does all the editing, all that, and uh, I'm just here as an really inexperienced nose. Um, trying to give the perspective of someone maybe that's just getting into it, you know. Well, I appreciate it. Every time that you showed up, it means a lot to me, so thank you. Well, thank you for having me. So what we're going to do today is I got sent some fragrances from Happy Land. Mm -hmm. Thank you, EJ. I really appreciate it. These were sent for review, but they, I'm going to be honest if I like them or if I don't, I'll tell you just like anything else. Um, it is an incredible gesture of generosity. You know, he spent, he sent me three. You like that? He sent me three. So I really need to say thank you to EJ Wells for sending these. It was an incredible, generous gift. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to check them out. Yeah. And then, uh, and I've had a little bit of experience. I've been purchasing from Happy Land. Um, for a little while now. So some of these I've already smelled and I already own. And uh, some of these I have not that I have one and I got to get my nose on. Yeah, these are all first impressions for me. I haven't smelled anything from the house. Right. When I opened up the box, I didn't smell anything because I wanted to catch my Your initial yeah, my initial yeah. reactions on camera so I could tell you ex truly what I think of them. So let's start out with, pick one. Which well, one that you haven't smelled I yet? would like to try Signature because that's one that I have not gotten my nose on. I actually own uh, Ryle Light, which we'll go into that story, and then Plum Loco, and I got a story for that one as well, but uh, I have not smelled that one yet. Well, let's check this one out together. And this one is and Signature, right? Why you're, yeah, it's Happy Land Signature. And while you're doing that, I guess we could talk about two different things at the same time. While you're spraying, mm -hmm. And because I am going to show them, yeah, uh, this one's closer. There for you me. go. Wait a second. This is called a solid, and EJ and I keep talking back and forth because he um, not only does his solids, but he also does other uh, company solids oh, as does well. He? But I've never tried a solid, and. Yeah, EJ said to make sure to use that in conjunction with the spray. Now, I will say something. I got to be honest. It smells, it smells wonderful, but the bottle leaks. All around the atomizer. You have a leak? Yeah, a major leak. It smells wonderful. This must oh, have, like... see it on your hands. Yeah. When I opened up the box, the box smelled wonderful. So this must have been... The one that's leaking. Yeah, that I smelt. Well, I can smell it from here. Oh, yeah. The, oh, the whole thing. So maybe it's just Maybe not, it's just loose. Yeah. But, but it's saturated. I'm going to smell like Happy Land for weeks. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Signature. That's this. signature. It smells wonderful. It has got oh, a... That is nice. A little bit of a spicy, woody... It's really... Hey. Full. You don't even need the card. You got your hand. Oh, yeah. My hands are just covered in it. Well, then Yeah, it's super good. I really, really it's like it. Screen. For my first impression, this is absolutely one that I definitely will Oops. enjoy wearing. And like I said, these are going to be first impressions. I'm not going to go over notes or anything like that. This is just going to be... to break it down. Yeah, this is just going to be what we think of them, or I think of them, and you think of them first back. And I think that the solids is in everything. Everything that you that he has, I think he has you, a can, solid you can version also of. get a solid version. So um, I was just kind of like wanting to know exactly what a solid was, how do you wear it, you know, everything like that. But pretty much you just dab it on like you would. Yeah. And several people, just like he said, wear it with it. Um, I think they're layering these with 
the because these don't project. No, but I you bet know, you in the longevity would be incredible with this yeah. because you actually it's you know based off of some sort of wax, um, and and that would take a while to to diffuse. You know what would be awesome if you're watching EJ because I'm a bearded gentleman. If beard you could, oil. Yeah, if you could do a beard oil or just a beard balm, which is kind of close to this, but in this scent, this would. I one would of, wear this in my beard every day. One of his most popular is this Rhyolite. So maybe he could do the first one on that because that would probably be, when you finally put your nose on this one, well, you're going to be incredibly surprised. Let's check it out right now. And you've, you've had this one before. Yeah, I've, I've worn this one to work and, and received tons of compliments from this one. So there is the way that the label looks. And oh wow, yeah, that smells wonderful. Now this could be. I wore this. I have to admit, when I ordered, I ordered uh, Rhyolite and Plum Loco together. That came in, and we were having the triple digit temperatures. Yeah, when it was still super uh, hot. Oh my gosh! And this one actually performed awesome in that. But I really would say this is really going to shine come fall. Yeah. I would say so. In, in fall, this Rhyolite is just going to be almost untouchable. It's, it's going to be up there on that level and, and get out there and actually, you know, draw in those compliments for, for people. I can't speak highly enough. Um, I kind of wish I would have pulled out my bottles I had because the funny thing about Rhyolite is it wasn't called Rhyolite when I bought it. Yeah, that's what you were showing me. It's, uh, I got the little 30 mils and I liked sampling those smaller ones and it was called Untitled. He had not had a name or anything and so it's really, um, it's got the Plum Loco on it and yet it's got an Untitled cover yeah, a little in the, white the Plum Loco and I like being a guinea pig like that when I see something that intrigues me and, and you got a house like, like EJ has here. It's kind of cool to get in on the, that first batch, that yeah. first, let me, let me try that. Um, which towards the end, I'm going to open this one because I made another purchase. Um, I'm one of those exact things. It's, I wanted it right on the ground floor. I wanted it as soon as it got here. And then I, I messaged him and said, Hey, look, I'm just going to wait until I get with you and we're going to do our normal unboxing, unboxing that we normally do. So, um, this one is not set up like these and this is special order only at this point. Oh, really? So you can't like order this and expect to get this presentation i don't know what it looks like i don't know because it's still in the box right it's still in the box but i really want to put my nose on this one well so but far what do you get so far out of this one though because this one right now it's got a leather note to it it's not super uber what's the word i'm looking for i've got some leathers that have a really um a bitter almost you're familiar with saddle leather right i've got some that have a real set, saddle leather. yeah this has got a much smoother it doesn't have that bitter bite to the end like saddle leather has yeah but there's a, a very distinct leather note to it there is a little bit of spices i can't i'd be lying if i said it was this or that but there's got right. a spicy nuance to it it's really, really, the opening is, is outstanding. And we'll break them down later. I just wanted to see on your first initial yeah. what you would you would pull out of it. And then I have to say that when we sprayed either, well, when I got this one all over me and then we sprayed that, neither one of them had a huge perfumer's alcohol burst to them, which is really nice because yeah. I have, we've, I think we all have had experience with that cheap fragrance that we like that's got a horrible opening for five seconds because it's nothing but perfumer's alcohol. Right. These... Both of these, neither one of them had that. No, and this, that again, is me personally saying this is the star of the show of what I've no, been able so to far. experience. I do like that one. Um, and that almost goes to, toward your your blue side that I think you would like, doesn't it? It's like got a... No, I would say this is more... I'm just gonna smell the bottle, but... This is more of a gentleman scent to me. It's really, really good. This, you know what this falls it's under? Almost like posh, almost like. Yeah. Like a high class. 
I, but every time I saw a signature, that's what in my head I kept thinking like it's going to be like one of your blue ones. And yeah, no, it's not a blue when fragrance I saw at all. A signature, I was like, oh, you're going to be all over that one. It's yeah. really, really good. This is something I will definitely wear. Both of them are. I mean, I've I've had stuff come in the past where I'm like, oh, okay, it's not bad, but it's just not for me. These are and definitely then for me. This one is called Plum Loco. And I'll even do it from this side. So. Yeah. And then um, I got a funny story about this one. This was actually the first plum um, fragrance yeah. that I'd ever purchased. And then I got in, I'm trying to remember what the other plum was. What was the, the plum one that we reviewed that... We did the unboxing. And I couldn't. Lucky number six. Yeah. Where it had at the plum in it. Yeah. And this definitely has that same note to it right, right off the top. Yeah. And then this also, I believe, has what saffron is it? in it. It smells like. But this one made me nervous. I'll be honest with you. It was 110 degrees out, and I put, the, I put like. And so you got like. Yeah, this would. Seven seven sprays in in the middle of a 110 degree heat wave. Um, wow, this thing was like all over me and, and it was like, oh my gosh, I think I messed up when I did that. So I waited until it got a little bit cooler at night and, and applied just a couple sprays. A yeah. couple, a couple, a couple of sprays. So you imagine how long this would last if you're only using a couple sprays. Yeah. This thing would last forever. Um, and it shined. It shined at night. It shined. I think this weather. is a great cooler weather night scent. Yeah, this has got a. This not, reminds not me of something. Degrees. But I can't remember what it is. When we do, I'm going to do full reviews on everything that EJ sent us because I believe they all definitely justify a full review because they're that this, good. And I'll find the fragrance that this reminds me of. Cause this definitely match it up. Yeah, because this is ringing a bell in the back of my head. Hey, yeah, I've smelt this before. But yeah, yeah this I one, really just, like this. You only have to limit what you know the amount of sprays and and most of the stuff that I get. You know, you can do like six, eight sprays, and people are like, yeah. you know, no big deal. And when I this, when I no. applied that, it was like uh, I messed up. Yeah. Because it was, and, and the longer I sat outside, the more it radiated. My entire the heat was office was it. in it, and I'd walk in, and they're like, "Oh, you smell good." And it's like, when when you have it like right here, it really gets into your nose and it gets into your face. And uh, but I'll tell you what. Fabulous. Yeah, absolutely. I, all three of these, I can't knock the scent wise. No. And this was the first time I ever smelled this one, uh, Signature. And I really enjoy that one too. Now, I got to say that, like, I personally like a sweet scent. Mm -hmm. None of these are sweet. Not at all. I was kind of expecting a little sweetness with the, the plum. plum. But no, this is a, a very dry, to my nose, this is a dry scent. It's right. really, really, really good though. Yeah, it's 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 a, again. You got another one of those quality um, product. Yeah. The, the only thing I um, I preferred was the original bottles that I was receiving. It. We kind of talked about this, you know, about different bottles, and it seems like everyone's just going with the square basic bottle. And I wish EJ would have kind of kept. He had like this rounded. Yeah, it was almost like a Dior, Dior Fahrenheit like feel to it. You know, not that good a quality, but I mean, it had it was that cylindrical. feel. It was yes. it was nice and it, it looked good. And um, but I know a lot of companies like the square. It takes up, and when you when you stack them, you know, next to each other, you can, you know, put them together like that, and you yeah. can. It looks good up on the shelf. I just I personally loved that first set of design bottles that he had and I thought man this is going to look cool because well, you know. I think that we'll see a progression from this company just like I saw with genre genres mm -hmm. first bottles weren't well yeah they weren't as classy or as elegant as the uh, presentation that he has now and I think we'll see that with this company maybe along with synth obsessions as the companies grow 
that we'll see that the presentations really start to change and reflect the quality of their actual product that's uh, yeah, in the bottle. EJ's got a nose. He's definitely got yes. a nose, and he's he's putting together some real bangers. Um, so I agree with you. He's probably going to step it up one more, one more. And you imagine if he starts doing labels like John and he's like, yeah. But for the price, it's um, amazing. Yeah. Both those houses. I mean, we're talking about Happy Land right now, but price-wise, incredible. Yes, it absolutely bang for your buck. I am so impressed with these. It is absolutely amazing. And then we have his latest his creation, latest. which is let's a dethrone this run. one real quick, so that you can put the new one up there on the pedestal. And look, I'm not even the way that tape was. So I'm just gonna rip the box because. And we, I literally we chucked the box. Got these this morning. Just a little, they showed up a little bit before you did. <laughs> so, I mean, this is perfect timing, because. Yeah. Okay, so we got another bag, and then he also bubble wrapped. Now, before I even open this, I want to preference one more time. This is not what you're going to get. It's not going to look exactly yeah, like this, because. Yeah, the presentation's different. We always get the test run ones. And this um, is, speaking of presentation. But really, I mean, look at that. I like the the label on that better. That's I mean we're looking at it, but let me I'm gonna show y'all. Hopefully that zooms in and it really doesn't look like it. Why is it there? Go. There, yeah. Now it's in focus, kind of. No, it's not as blurry. Try See it. if you can put it up to that one. Yeah. Or actually. Oh, there you go. I yeah, forget. You keep I keep forget we have the overhead the overhead camera, but and then there it is, right there. Is the, this one was his newest one, and I was, yeah, this one's clear, and I was like intrigued by it as soon as he started talking about the notes. Wow! wow. Did that you see that, Adam? I'm going to waste a spray, but hopefully they can see it. Wow. That's that went all the way past your diffusion light. Yeah, it sure did. That is an amazing atomizer. Oh my God. Yeah, this smells wonderful. In the air, that's just amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really, really, really good. Okay, so some people have kind of compared this to um, Tuxedo by YSL. I kind of see the vibe. But It's the spiciness in the top of it. Like a... I don't have the original. What I do have is an, a couple of different um, renditions or expressions of Tuxedo, because Tuxedo is part of YSL's Privé line, and it's it's really pricey. That smells good. Yeah, this smells really When, when this do you think really this would be the prime? This is another one of those fall scents, huh? Yeah, this is a fall scent. This is, YSL yeah. Tuxedo is definitely is a dressy, it's a formal scent. This is something I would wear. Okay, tell me why I keep getting attracted to all the, the, the business formal. formal. I mean, what... you're talking about uh, this one, which is called Crevet Noir. Yeah. Um, Zaharoff, which is more upscale, Scale. more businessy. That's because those two scents fall in the same kind of category. I really need to wow. order a, a decant or a sample. Of tuxedo. This is nice. Yeah, it is absolutely wonderful. And it's it. I just want to, for the sake of okay, so all the atomizers seem to be the same. Yeah. That really pumps out that, a ton of that juice goes out there. I don't know. Maybe it's the smaller bottle. I I prefer smaller bottles. I'm just telling everyone out there. He didn't like short me or anything like that. Um, this is the 30 mil size, and this is the, the 50, 50 mil, mil size. Yeah. So people can see the, see the, the comparison. But um, his official labels for this, um, he told me ahead of time that this isn't the official label for this one. This is actually off of oh. his hard one. And basically what he did was he just took the top, top off. Um, so you, you can't knock him for that. He's being completely honest. And yeah. me being a test dummy like I am and, and always liking to get the very first of the first, um, I'm like, EJ, just send it to me. I'm just, yeah. you know, 
Well, that and people need to really realize how expensive or how much money it takes to produce a product like this between the labeling, the actual oils that go into making the fragrance to his time, his time, his effort. Because I think he bottles all this himself as well. Yeah. And then the time that went into making the labels, applying the labels on the bottle. This is a ton of somebody's time. Right. You know, I, I'm just amazed by the house. Yeah, you know, I really together. am too. All his stuff, everything I've gotten my nose on. And smelling this one, I'm probably going to get with them and, and order it as well. And the funny thing, like we were talking about, you saw the the original bottles. Now mm -hmm. I've got a square bottle. Um, it's like, man, I want to go backwards and be like, okay, put them all <laughs> in these little 30s that I was getting initially. Um, so I would have a complete set, but it's, it's kind of different because this is the progression. Yes. This is what happens. So, um, but I, I'm amazed if you guys can get your nose on this and you just go on Facebook, Happy Land Studios, and you can look them up, you can find them. And yeah, I will put all of his contact information in the comments below along with links to where you can go and you can order from EJ in Happy Land because if you bought all of these, this is all be money well spent. Right. You know, I will say that there's nothing on here. They were sent to me, but there's nothing on here that I wouldn't have bought myself. You know what I'm saying? And you know? I'm probably going to purchase this. And I did purchase these. All these came out of mine. EJ and I don't have... Like, I don't have a channel, you got a channel, you know, and sometimes I see the reviewers do their thing, but um, I purchased these with my own money, yeah. my my collection, and then I, I spent my own money on this. So if I didn't like it, I'll tell y'all, because there was a couple that we said, I just don't like this yeah, at all. Yeah, I have no um, problems letting my viewers know if there's something out there that I don't like, you know, and I have to, I really always try to be subjective because Sometimes my personal preferences don't line up with a scent. What were we, we were looking at something the other day that I could appreciate the scent, but it wasn't something. Oh, that, but it wasn't you. Yeah, it wasn't something I probably would have worn very often. Yeah, I don't remember what that was. Yeah, so. But as far as me, um, I think Rhyolite is still like my favorite. This is gonna be in front and then Plum Loco, Plum Loco. Um, and only because I, I don't own Signature I've never gave it a full wearing yet so I can't really say yes the other thing I'd like to talk about is so we're just we had to restart we, the main camera here yeah, we had technical difficulties that we had to uh, attend to but I wanted to talk kind of about longevity um, on the ones that I own and kind of give a little bit of quick for these guys. I know this ain't a full review, but 10 hours plus, I work 12 hour days. Some of these 14 hours later, you know, I'm finally getting home to, to cook dinner or whatever. And I was catching, you know, strong whiffs and it was like, you know, bang for your money. Um, so I, he, we were talking and we kind of wanted to show you like what I was originally getting and we'll talk about Rhyolite first, because Rhyolite, um, he actually has a song from back in the day called Rhyolite. Oh, really? Uh, if you go on his Facebook page, you can actually go to the link. It's also on YouTube if you just Google Rhyolite. Um, put Rhyolite song, and you'll be able to find it and hear it. But before then, before it ever got a name, it was called Untitled. Untitled. Which I think is a really cool name itself. Me too. And so he just basically put on a Plum Loco label and then put Happy Land Untitled underneath it. And I said, yes, EJ, I got to have that one. And yeah, that one. Well, that one just shut your camera off for the <laughs> upper. So, um, but the atomizer's great. The smell. Yeah, and and this has had time. So yeah, it's, it's a, it seems for a while. little bit more potent than even what you just got. I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's a little bit more smoother. Definitely is. And then Plum Loco, I got Plum Loco, and these were the bottles I was telling y'all ahead of time. Um, but don't knock them. You, I don't even think you can get these bottles anymore because this is the same size. So this is what you're kind of getting now, and I'm only doing this side. So. 
because it's closer to me. Um, but I really loved this presentation, even with the black. And these are just for testing, just for those that are on the first batches were getting these. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting in on that. Um, this is more professional and um, I just kind of wish we could have stuck with those, those bottles, bottles because like that's bottles. my collection and that's kind of where I'm at. But Got you. I actually paid my own money for this. I, I you know, there is yeah. no deal. You get a. Um, How much was his his samples like this in the thirty mil bottles? Uh, I believe they were twenty five a piece. So and that's I, still really. But good. if you buy them off the website, I believe they're thirty. Gotcha. When you when they finally get to this level of production, then I think they're thirty. But we'll double check and we'll put it right here. Um, how much does 30 mil cost? How yeah, I'll put all the information in so that everybody's well informed. Yeah, you can just drop it down there. But um, all of these, minus this one, because I can't give longevity. I just got it. They just seen me open it. But these two, I mean, long days that I was working and, and they were still, still, still pumping. When I tried the Plum Loco at night, I woke up the next morning and it was and still, still strong. strong. Still there, still, huh? still strong on my arm not not skin scent i mean but it was still strong and it was like it was incredible so you can't go wrong with this and and hopefully you'll break them down when you do the individual yeah because like them. i said i believe i feel that these are good enough to justify a, a full review of each one yep. you know they are outstanding this is one thing that he sends with them too they they come did your little ones come in a, in the pouch no, they don't come with the pouch yeah the 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 50 mil bottles come with the nice little felt pouch, which is really cool too. So I think that's a nice touch as well. Well, review this one first. Yeah, we'll do and signature first. And then let me first. borrow those so I could try the the hard um, fragrance and the fragrance itself. So I, at least if I come back, I can tell you the experience that I had with yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. These two, you're going to love both of them. Yeah, I'm super impressed just off the, my first impressions. So I'm looking forward to really being able to enjoy wearing all of them. Yeah. So with all of that being said, and this being one long ass first impression video, because I believe <laughs> we're gonna be somewhere just around 20 minutes. I hope- If you, you cut out 10 minutes. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Me and Russ really enjoy sitting here and be able to talk about this and give our first, my first impressions on all of them and his first impressions on Signature. And Crevet oh, Noir. Yeah, Crevet Noir. So I hope you guys have enjoyed what we put together here today. If you have a chance to put these in your collection, I highly recommend them. Definitely worth the money. Yeah, every cent. They are a high quality fragrance for somebody who doesn't want to spend a ton of money. These are absolutely wonderful. But get quality yeah, and, and, and performing. Yeah. I, I don't want to leave that out. These perform and, and mm -hmm. money is... Yeah, because there's nothing worse than spending good money and getting a frag that lasts two seconds. Didn't we just do a video about yeah. that? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was um, Sauvage, your newest Sauvage. Yeah. It actually, we have to come back to that and address that in another video because um, that's a whole other topic. Yeah. So until next time, remember, there is no bad time to smell good. And these all smell good. We'll catch you on the next video. All right. 30 minutes.